Hey folks, Wrath coming at you with an update to the free-to-play account. Notice that the recharge event with Skewer is still here. If you spent any money in the game, this would disappear. So we're still completely free-to-play. Nothing has changed there. I want to show you guys what I'm doing for story. Uh, this is an older video from earlier today. I did uh, make it further than this afterwards. I think I'm on stage 32, 36, something like that. So it's definitely progressing. We've got two tanks up front. And when I say tank, I mean damage absorbers. Both Artis and Leo are not tanks. They're, they're vanguards. And then I've got Serena for the heals. And Daniel for the crowd control. And then Taylor for the damages as well. So Daniel and Taylor both doing some massive damage there. What I've been doing is if I get stuck on a stage like the current one, uh, just manual it once and then put the rest on idle. Uh, in terms of the elite campaign, we're down to 10-6. The following two teams are the ones that we're using and it's going successfully so far. Uh, Muka is a great damage soaker and also with his wolves adds a little bit more agitation. Falvia I haven't focused on at all. So if you guys are wondering why that's there, it's because I've got other heroes in the advanced recruitment wish list that, and they're not there. Today we finished the elite chapter event as well. Here's what I bought. So I bought Senlei and then all the other things except diamonds and the, uh, the hero foods. I am saving 40 of the uh, Metrolite here. Reason being is next time there's an elite chapter event, we could use it towards getting a second copy of whatever the champion that they released there is. Galactic Treasure, we're making some progress here. Happy to get another Senway and Ampu copy. Should happen over the next five days. We'll get everything in here. Uh, should be no problem at all. Moving on to the double chip event. I quickly glanced over there. 60 is what I summoned for the Daniel copy. Hell Arena, we're done really well. I lost one match to red lights here. Otherwise, uh, I'd be in first. So switching gears over to the dungeons. Where are we? Sinsaro, we've made it to 13. Uh, this is the team that I use. Fairly effective with uh, Taylor and Soaring Medallion. I do want to highlight something though. So each of the following King's gifts that I got along the way, I have purchased the diamond cost equivalent from. And the reason being is because we get a ton of diamonds from the campaign. We get a ton, ton of diamonds from these first five scripted weeks that all of these things will help progress the account. The moment that I get four here on Crimson Abyss, you better believe that I am going to buy that King's gift. Right now, I think we're sitting at 27, 30,000 diamonds. So definitely have lots to spend. Where are we in terms of Soul Mine? We've made it to 304. Shout out to Dylar. He's right behind me there. He and I have made very similar decisions in the uh, early game for the first two weeks. So uh, moving on to where we are in the Endless Battle event. 10th overall is not too shabby given that, again, we are completely free to play. Not a penny has been spent here. The teams that I've been using are the following. I wish I had more summoners because if I did, the damage would be a little bit higher here. And then on the uh, Forbidden Mist one, lucky that I got yesterday a Karmata commander that allowed me to do true damage and get one of the breakpoints there. And then finally switching over to Alter, uh, Wonky the first three, hard. I don't think we're gonna be able to two key this week, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to do it next week. And then finally switching over here to what my characters are. So Daniel gets the best gear, most evolved from a triple S. I need one more copy to get him to exclusive 20. Otherwise, he'd already be there. Uh, Leo, notice that they all have legendary equipment. Taylor as well. Taylor's sitting in legendary equipment. I've got him up to 70% crit rate, and he does a fantastic job there. Exclusive 10. Artis, he's doing well too. He's got legendary equipment. Exclusive 0. I'm saving the, the runes for somebody else, probably Leo when he gets up to the required evolution level. And then Sorietta, we've got at X10, one piece of non-legendary gear. And then also do want to note that Senway is, I call him Daddy Senway. He definitely helps early game. Serena, we need some better gear on, but she's doing her job well. And so that's about it. The only one 
other worth of note would be Ampu. He's gotten all my leftover gear. Some of it is Hawkeye, but we'll switch it out to Hero. See you guys on the next one.